The typical industrial building has over 56 different openings. Trying to access control all of the doors, docks, gates can be super expensive. Knowing the critical areas is key. In this video, we're gonna cover the five critical areas we recommend access controlling. We'll also cover some areas you may not have thought of. Area number one is your front office entry. This is the main entrance for your office employees. This is also where a lot of visitors come. And so it's really important that we get this door access controlled. The problem is, is a lot of businesses leave this door unlocked during normal business hours. That creates a huge vulnerability for anyone just to walk in. Area number two is your employee warehouse entrance. This is where all of the warehouse employees are gonna come in throughout the day. It's important that we access control this area to make sure we are holding the employees accountable. In many cases in an industrial building, we'll have temporary staff. And so we wanna make sure we know who's in our warehouse or who's in our facility. Area three is your shipping office. This could be an inbound shipping or outbound shipping office, but this is where truckers will usually check in with your employees. And this can also be a caged area once they access into the building. Uh, but we wanna look at making sure that we restrict access so that if they do come in the building, uh, since they're not employees, they wouldn't have access to the rest of the facility. Area number four are your vehicular and pedestrian gates. We can add motors at these gates and automate the closing and the locking of the gate, which adds an extra layer of security for your own assets, but also for your customers' assets. Area number five is your office area. It's really important that we look at separating access from the office versus the warehouse. We can create an access plan that restricts certain users to have access to the office if they should not have access to the office. We can also look at interior doors within that office and determine which of those doors make sense to access control. Every industrial building's layout and operation is different. So it's important that we go through a full discovery and design process to help you come up with the right access control plan for your organization. Another area to think about access controlling would be your office lobby doors. These are the doors just inside of the main entrance. These doors are a great way to add another layer of security so that people have to stop and check in. For example, visitors who need to check into a visitor management system or employees who need to clock in. Another important area these days are your IT closets, your IDFs, your MDF, and your server rooms. This is where your network is located. And a lot of times there's a focus on cybersecurity, but we leave the door to the server room unlocked. For compliance reasons and for reasons of network security, we wanna lock these areas and make sure that they're automatically integrated into the access control system. Another area you wanna think about access controlling is any high value caged area where you might be staging or um, storing customer assets. These are areas that within a warehouse we can cage and then also access control. Another typical uh, type of cage area could be a maintenance area where maintenance personnel store their tools or have machinery. Uh, these are also areas that we access control. A lot of times forklifts are part of the industrial building and we can access control them so that people who shouldn't be using them or let's say don't have their license to use them don't have access to turn the, uh, the, the forklift on. If you have an outdoor break area, it's important that we look at access controlling that because we may have already taken care of the other entrances like the employee warehouse entrance, the office main entry, but if we leave this break outdoor break area where employees are going out during the day to take breaks just completely unlocked or open, now we're leaving the whole access control plan vulnerable. So it's important we look at those areas and look at access controlling them. A lot of times within the office, there's some extra doors that we look at access controlling. Some of those might be the CEO's office, the accounting department, or any secure area like a file room or storage area where we have some valuables 
we should look at access controlling the interior doors within the office. Sometimes inside the industrial building, employees need a way of getting out and getting back into the building to get to the lot of the building and get to, uh, let's say, a pallet area or let's say a, an area where um, there's some outdoor storage. And so it's important to make sure that we look at those doors. A lot of times ramp man doors, for example, that are used to get in and out of the building during the day while the building is operating.